Now we know now that the crime that they say is at the root of terrorism was not committed by Arabs or Muslims at all. What did you say, Farrakhan? Over 2,300 of America's trained architects and engineers have joined in calling for a new investigation of 9-11. Well, what is 9-11? Some of you don't even know what 9-11 is. And that's really bad. 9-11 was the destruction of the World Trade Towers. Does it ring a bell now? They say that the World Trade Center buildings were brought down by carefully placed explosives, not by planes. They say that all three buildings had to have been wired with explosive charges long before September the 11th. And this is something that took tremendous sophistication to do, and that sophistication was not with Osama bin Laden or his followers. Listen. But if it was not Muslims, then who? Thanks to the exemplary work of scholars like Victor Thorne and Christopher Bolin, it is now becoming apparent that there were many Israelis and Zionist Jews in key roles in the 9-11 attacks. Now look, if they can prove me wrong, like I said, I'll pay with my life. Since they want to kill me anyway. Prove me wrong. We're dealing with thieves and liars and murderers. Listen to this. We know that many Israelis were arrested immediately after the attacks, but quickly released and sent to Israel. We know that the World Trade Center building was insured by its owner, Larry Silverstein, right before the attack, and in the insurance clause, uh, there was a clause that if the building were damaged by terrorist acts, Mr. Silverstein would get paid. And guess what? Mr. Silverstein got $4.8 billion. We know that an Israeli film crew dressed as Arabs were filled filming the Twin Towers before the first plane went in. In other words, these Israelis had foreknowledge of the attacks. Now look, you say, but planes went in to these towers. Yes, they did. But do you know what kind of technology you have to have as a pilot to fly a plane and drop down to an altitude and turn at an angle at four or five hundred miles an hour into a building and the fuel of an airplane is not strong enough to create enough heat to melt the steel structure of that building. We know that many Jews received the text message not to come to work on September 11th. Who sent that message? 
that kept them from showing up. Within minutes of the attacks, Ehud Barak, the founder and master of the Israeli military's covert operation force, was in a London studio of the BBC blaming Osama bin Laden and calling for a war on terror. And we know that Benjamin Netanyahu told an audience in Israel, we are benefiting from one thing, and that is the attack on the Twin Towers and Pentagon and the American struggle in Iraq. He added that these catastrophes and wars would swing the American public opinion in the favor of Israel. Why won't America investigate what these scholars and scientists have uncovered about 9-11 and who was really behind it? It now appears that 9-11 was a false flag operation which is an attack by one country but made to appear like the attack came from another in order to start a war between them. Is, is, is this what friendship is? <laughs>